Good morning. It's a beautiful day. In fact, the sweatshirt might be overkill. So today's the day. Rooster domination. Now I figured out, I've been kind of scoping out the whole thing uh, the last week or so as I fed them, I realized that's the best time to get him when he's paying attention to the food in the bowl. The only time I've handled him is at night when they're practically comatose. And so this is gonna be different. So I'm tearing up some old bread. I'm gonna throw that in there now, and then we'll come back in a bit and actually give them their food food when I'm ready to get down to business. I love how they take a bite of bread and run with it. So the past few days I have been debating on whether or not I need to hire some help um, for a couple things. Uh, the walls in the vegetable garden, I've done a lot of them, but I started to really feel like maybe uh, I should hire the rest of it done. And so a friend of mine, a friend of Bill's actually had someone, he had the exact same stone I had and somebody put it in for him. So we actually had him out um, last week to see what he might charge to do it. And we also had two people out to give us a quote on the stucco for the coop. So I didn't have to do that either. Well, the guy for the walls said, he couldn't give me an actual job cost. It was an hourly cost. And you never know what you're going to get into with that. And when I thought I had him kind of nailed down to a price, he added, well, but, you know, I'd, I like to take my time and do it right. So it could be another day. Well, another day at $30, $30 an hour for three people, that could end up really stacking up. So I decided not to go ahead and hire somebody for the walls because that is something I know how to do. I'm just getting tired of it. But I can't justify spending that kind of money when I really feel like I see the light at the end of the tunnel here. I mean, we're not that far off from finishing. So let me show you what I did over the past couple days. I got this lower wall in and the dirt all shoveled down here. And I started on the stairs. Now, they all need capstones. There's gonna be one more uh, row of stairs at the top. They're all gonna have capstones and they need to be cleaned off. Between the stairs, I left, uh, or I filled in with some soil because I wanna have a Rigeron kind of mingling its way across the stairway. I'll put a picture of that on the screen if you don't know what a Rigeron is. So this is the middle section. There will be one more set of stairs right there. And one more going down right here. So I feel good about that, especially after getting out here and getting all that done uh, in really not that much time. So I uh, am happy with that decision. Now the decision for the stucco on the coop. Uh, we had two guys out. One came back with $3,500, and the other one has not gotten back to us at all, even after texting and calling. $3,500, that's a lot when I feel like I, I haven't done this before. Granted, I'll give you that. So it would have made more sense to pay for this to be done out of the two things, because I knew I knew how to do the walls. But after watching a bunch of YouTube videos, it just doesn't seem that difficult or time consuming. I feel like I could have this done maybe in th two or three days of work. And like I've said before, if this was the house, I would definitely have somebody do it, but it's a chicken coop. You know, it's really for aesthetic purposes. Maybe I'm totally naive, I don't know, but $3,500 is a lot when I've got thatched roofs to pay for and a lot of large trees to pay for. I feel like taking advantage of at least my DIY abilities to get that done without paying for it is a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it looks like today I'm gonna to get started with the scratch coat and uh, I'll take you with me and you'll see 
if this was a good idea or if I was completely crazy. But first, total domination. The day has come for me to finally show this rooster who really rules the roost. But before I do that, I wanted to address a couple of things. Um, we had, when I talked about trying to dominate the rooster um, over the last few videos, we had a couple of concerned viewers who emailed in and were saying that, you know, they were worried that if I showed this on the channel that I would get hate and the channel might take a hit. And they had the best of intentions and I appreciate the email. Um, however, what they don't realize is, unfortunately, we get hate daily on this channel and the other channel mostly, but um, in the comments daily, hate about everything, everything. Hate for removing the trees, for killing gophers, for having barn cats, hate for my hairstyle, the shape of my nostrils, um, and the choices of facial hair over the years, which I will give you some more questionable. We even get hate just for having chickens. So as far as avoiding hate, that's never going to happen. As a side note, I know I haven't updated you guys on the barn cats in a while, and people have been asking, and they are alive, they are well, they are doing their job. Um, they just don't really show up too much in the daytime. We see them at night when it's time for them to be fed. Uh, in fact, for proof of life, I'll put a picture of them a couple nights ago. And I don't even know what happened to Mufasa. He is this huge, like, lion's mane fluff ball. And when we got him he looked like this so i don't know i don't think they had trimmed him but maybe he was just really a, a baby at the time when we got him and just kind of came into his own after being fed right but anyway back to the bottom line the bottom line is if you are on youtube sharing your life you're gonna get hate we get hate for sharing our life just for simply putting our lives out there and i will tell you it really bothered me in the beginning i have been a people pleaser all my life as a child young adult uh, up until a couple years ago really but this experience on YouTube has really made me stronger it has taught me a valuable lesson that has carried over in many other aspects of my life and when this came up I felt like I wanted to share it with you because and I'm, I'm serious about this because there are so many people out there like I was who live their lives in a certain way because of what other people might say. And that just ruins your self-confidence. The reason I learned this lesson is because YouTube puts you in front of millions of people. If you're fortunate enough to have a channel that has grown, it puts you in front of millions of people. And along with those millions of people come all kinds of unsolicited opinions. And in regular life, you would never be exposed to millions of unsolicited opinions about you. Never. You would be lucky in a full lifetime to be subjected to thousands of, I don't know, be, maybe not lucky, but it would be hard in a lifetime to, you know, get thousands of opinions about you. And so YouTube really kind of fast tracked that for me, where I learned this lesson before I was 80 or 90 years old. That's why most people go their whole lives without learning this lesson. Every day I get comments questioning my experience, my morals, all the other things that I was talking about. And three to five years ago, it really bothered me. I wondered if I could continue doing this. It was so just over the top. Something as seemingly insignificant as calling tomatoes vegetables in the video that put me on the map. I still get comments to that three years later. You know, people have said, you know, 10 seconds into the video, by the way, when I said this, uh, I'm not watching the rest of this video if this guy doesn't even know that tomatoes are fruit. So if they could pick out one word that I said and just dump on me for it, I really didn't know if as my audience grew, I'd be able to handle it. But the more it happened, the more I recognized a pattern. I would get every opinion under the sun for everything that I did. Some people would praise it. Some people would condemn it. The same exact thing that I was doing. And I started to realize that if I was going to get opinions 
for everything I did, no matter what I did, then why not just be myself and whoever chooses to come along with me, awesome. If not, that's fine. I like to think that the people who shut my tomato video off because I said the word vegetable missed something. I know a lot of you are here because of that video. So just take, take it from me, as insignificant as it might be from me, but you're never going to please everyone. So stop, stop trying. Just stop trying. Be yourself because people are going to talk no matter what. And it, it, that just learning that gave me so much more self-confidence. And now I need to go deal with someone who has a little bit too much self-confidence. <laughs> Okay, so the plan of attack is to give them their food, and when he dives in, grab him. And the rooster's not being hurt in any of this. Maybe just a little pride in front of his ladies. Okay, so I've got long sleeves, long pants, dirty jeans, because I'm going to be down in the dirt, and gloves. Did it! All right, now somebody said... <laughs> Somebody said just carrying him around like a football will do it. Put him on the ground between my legs. Don't you do just like this. I'm not hurting him. Hold his wings. Then we're going to take two fingers, one on each side of his neck, and push his beak into the dirt. Because this is what roosters do to each other when they're trying to show their dominance. I immediately felt him relax. Hmm. Now, some people say to like pluck their neck feathers. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tug on them a little bit because that's what they also do. What they didn't say is how long to sit here. <laughs> Again, there's very little pressure that I'm putting on. We're going to be friends. Pretty sure that's not what he's thinking right now. <laughs> You're okay. All right. You ready to go back to your girls? Be nice. Well, I will try that a couple more times, but he has he's not showing any kind of improvement at all i can't say i had a ton of hope for this he showed aggressive tendencies for since he was you know since we could first tell that he was uh, a rooster and not a hen so uh i do have an offer from the guy at the the feed store um we'll see if it comes to that at this point i'm thinking it probably will well the struggle continues so uh i'm gonna Put the chicken issue aside and go work on the other chicken issue, which is the stucco for the coop. Okay, I've assembled everything that I think I need. Uh, again, amateur, DIY, but we're gonna get it done. So I have a bag of stucco, more in the garage. I've got something to mix it in. I've got a water sprayer back here um, in case it starts to set up too quickly. This is to put the stucco on, kind of like your palette. This is the trowel to apply it with. This is the scratcher for the first coat. This gives you a surface that the next coat will hit stick to better. And then I've got something to mix it with. Let's do this. And just so we're clear, this is not a tutorial. First timer, I will put a link down below to the guy I learned it from on YouTube.
I went to edit this video and realized I kind of left you guys hanging. It's the next day and I wanted to just show you kind of the outcome and talk about what we're going from here. So the stucco is dry. The first layer, the scratch coat. And again, these ridges are put in there to help the second coat have something to grab onto. There's a bit of a, a line here and that is because that's where I stopped for lunch. So this was bag one, this was bag two. The finished product, this won't show once the finished coat is on there. Uh, I just have to remember to not stop in the middle of a section, which once this is divided up with decorative wood pieces, um, it, there won't, there'll be smaller areas to fill in. So that shouldn't be a problem. All in all, I'm thinking this is a success. I can do this. This mixing time and everything took me about an hour and 45 minutes. And, you know, it's not a huge wall, but it's decent size. The rest of the walls, other than the one over in the run, are smaller than this. So, like I was thinking, maybe two, three days of work, even four. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't difficult. It's not perfect. But again, I'm not looking for perfection. Um, and I saved, or I will save when I'm done, 3500 bucks. So I'm happy with that. I think I made the right decision. But you'll find out in future videos. See you next time.